Hello, Cancer. Welcome back to There's That Tarot. I'm going to be looking at what is happening between... Between... <laughs> for you in the month of... December. We're going to look at your career first. I saw imprisonment in the reverse, so some of you may be feeling like... Whatever is making you feel trapped, I feel like you may be free from whatever that is in the month of December. So for career... Oh, we have high honor in courthouse. We'll see, Cancer. The song that's playing right now is called 19 Degrees. If it's night, Okay. If it's in Celsius, then please send your weather to Germany, please. <laughs> so let's see. That is high honor. Here for cancer and career. <laughs> it's your it's your associations. There may be a Gemini in your life, or this could be you. This could be a work friend or a work relationship. There's something that you may have to do alone, Cancer. That's going to bring you the most um, gratification. You'll be able to see it better alone. Some of you do better when you're not, uh, make more money when you're not in a relationship. <laughs> or some of you may be having to choose between a relationship and your work there may be something that you have to walk away from that may be causing um, stress distraction anxiety you may feel like this is also holding you back from some sort of success that you feel like you should be receiving I feel like a lot of you are highly honored for what it is that you do, but there could be a connection here that hasn't quite ended, but isn't the most harmonious. And I feel like you've been going back and forth with whether or not to abandon it or to fight for it. Maybe this is something that has hurt you in the, the past. I feel like this is, yeah, this is, I don't know if you're even interested in it. Or you're a bit aloof about it, but maybe you felt like, ah, I'll do it because maybe I'll miss out on an opportunity. What if I regret it? I still have emotion for this, but deep down you're wondering if it's going to affect your money. Honey. <laughs> mm. So I see you pursue it. You try to put the past behind you, start it, you know, not waste any more. I don't know. It's something that you're putting behind you. You try to... Okay, so maybe you try to put your worries of the past behind you with whatever this is. But then you find out that you wasted your time anyway. Or either that or you stop investing. There's something that you stop. I don't know whether you become inconsistent with it or the other person. Or you stop pursuing it because you, you spot something. Either this is a bad contract, this is a bad, um, could, you know, whatever this is or whoever this is doesn't align with my long-term goals and then there's a stop. It's like you see that, oh, whoa, something ain't right <laughs> with that shit. And you stop, okay? And you get in your cherry and you go. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Back to where you know it's sweet. Okay. And then there's growth. This could be connected to a Taurus. Um, but you see something clearly that you're unhappy with. So you go from... If there's a king of swords in your life, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, if if that associate, if, if it's associated with one of those blah, zodiac signs, right? You go from that in reverse to the King of Pentacles. You go back and then the Empress. So it's like whatever you peep and then get the freak away from brings you growth, expansion, and possibly some more money. 
okay? And it's the right decision for you. You call out somebody's bullshit and you let that shit go. Like, if somebody was stealing from you or if you were losing money by way of dealing with this person, could be an Aquarius or this is just you holding on to some sort of idea and you making peace with whatever that is because it's getting in your way of something with your money. I think the song is playing right now is called Blue Day. You might be blue for like a day. But then you start, you look at your bank account and you're like, you know what? <laughs> this, what is this? This person is going to see you doing you and they're not going to want things to end with you. Somebody's not going to want things to change. But you're hesitant because you, I don't know, there's something here about dealing with this person that you just feel like either they're trying to take over what you're doing or they're trying to manipulate what you're doing, whether that be in a positive way or, or whatever, but I just don't feel like whatever their input is, is wanted or was solicited. This could be like a romantic connection and somebody's like too much in your damn work. You know what I mean? Sometimes you have to compartmentalize your relationships. I know for me it's best to, you know, when I come home, I don't want to fuck. <laughs> honey, I deal with work when I'm at work, honey. And, you know, when I get home, I just want to be me. You know what I mean? I have to be, either I'm on camera or I'm on stage. So just imagine how much I just want to be me <laughs> once I get home on my couch and to have a love interest or somebody that's just like two up your ass about your shit is um it could be something I feel like a lot of people feel like the path is unknown like which way which way you want to go is is, is is unknown because I feel like there's emotion attached to the house here cancer it's like you see someone thinks that they're getting away with something but you see it you're not saying nothing about it but you saw it and then their success well this person watches your success somebody could be holding a grudge because you're successful let's see You could end up taking somebody for cancer who tried to play with your money. And that's one thing you don't want to do to a cancer. Cancers are very vicious when it comes to their security. It may, yeah, we get a bad rap for being emotional or, or whatever, but there's strength in emotion if you know how to, to use it. And there's also... Um, What's more important to a cancer, like, at the end of the day, is am I okay? And is me and mine going to be good? You know what I mean? That's what's important to a cancer. So, this could have been somebody that you cared about. Yeah, it's like, maybe you two have a history, or you two grew up together, or something like that. But... Somebody here wasn't, I don't know, there's deception around whoever this person is. It could be a Cancer Pisces, a Scorpio, or a Fire Sign. Maybe you feel like whatever you were giving to them, they were giving to someone else, or there was something about money not going in the right place, or somebody could have been stealing. Somebody saw this and realized, it doesn't mean that somebody was actually stealing from you, but it, it just means that when you're in a position that I feel like I'm talking to some cancers who have a position, okay, in life or in some way you're highly honored, okay, whether you saw the deception that was going down or somebody else reported it to you, because that happens too with people who are like a big deal in some way, um, whether you're an influencer, whether you're on stage, whether you're an attorney, some of you may work in um, in law or whatever, you're, hot, you're highly honored in some way. And sometimes, you know, you attract vultures. 
who want to either steal your ideas, steal your energy, whatever it is. Some There was some kind of thievery going down. Right? But I see you. Um, choosing not to collaborate with somebody, Cancer. And there's success in you not doing that. Okay. And I feel like it's connected to love. It's like by way of you not entertaining something or re-engaging or engaging with someone or going back to something that you're just not quite interested in, you're able to save more money <laughs> too. I feel like there was just too many things that were unknown about this or maybe you felt like somebody was in something and it was only for the money or it, them coming in. You know, maybe they were greedy about the situation and you two just couldn't see eye to eye on whatever the plan was for whatever it was. And it's like, yo, I'm better doing this. I'm better doing this by myself. That's what I'm saying. And I see you in the end being okay. You know, doing this alone. I see you, money surrounding you, Cancer. And people like you, okay? High honor. Maybe there was somebody who wanted to be highly honored, but wasn't quite worthy of that, okay? And they didn't need to be standing next to you when you got your shit. <laughs> Something like that, Cancer. Yeah, Y'all tell me how I did on this career reading, okay? So let's look at love, Cancer. Let's do the shuffle for you. Number 18 could be significant for some of you. Something about after dawn. What's after dawn? Morning? Oh my god! I sound so embarrassing if I got that wrong. Anyway, y'all tell me. Something about after dawn. Dawn is like the beginning, so morning time could be significant for a lot of you. What the hell is going on? There's interruptions, Cancer. This is your love portion. Let's try this again. <laughs> and then the song that's playing for you is called Tell Me Again. And I feel like that was one of your readings was about that. It was like, tell me again. I'm not sure I heard you. I don't know. It's like, it could be um, that a lot of you are needing reassurance or, you know, just needing something to be reaffirmed. Um, in terms of love. All right, love for cancer. Adjudication. Mature man. I'm a deck is false person in the reverse. Love is not looking bad. Why is adjudication here for cancer? Priestess. Some of you have an air of mystery about you. <laughs> That's just the first thing I got. But there's something that you're sensing. I don't know if it's an ending or a betrayal. I don't think that you're talking about it or there's, what is this? It could be a Pisces in your life or a Scorpio. But this, it's like there's something that you know. You need to decide on. Some of you may be dealing with an Aquarius. <laughs> As the King of Swords pops out. Some of you are not feeling confident about giving to someone. What are you thinking about resolving? What is it that doesn't feel successful to you? What is this tower moment?
Three of Pentacles. Okay. Some of you could be, um, okay, some of you may have been sensing a betrayal. Okay. What's the Ten of Swords? Perhaps that something hadn't ended. It's not a lot. Either that or somebody's trying to make things right with you. Somebody was still holding on to something and you found out about it. Cancer. And I think you decided, you know, you learned your lesson, you move forward. That's an ending, right? There's a decision that's made here. You sensed the betrayal, and I feel like justice ends in your is in your favor. It's like something that you weren't letting end here. Somebody may have tried to come back and do things right with you. You went on your truth. Something was burdensome for you. I don't know what this is, Cancer. Somebody don't want to be without you, though. But it's like you're putting a stop to something. Because somebody made you feel like you weren't enough. Perhaps by lying to you, these things were revealed. But you were expecting something more from this when this person came back towards you. It could be a Gemini or an Aries. Why do I feel like you bossed up and then somebody feels like they miss out on opportunity through they want to come back because somebody desires you, but it's like you sensed something and you had to let something go. Or you have to. And somebody's back to fight for another chance with you. Did any of that make sense? I guess that's the adjudication of it all because it's like you sent something there's something here that you didn't feel confident in giving to. Then boom. <laughs> three of Pentacles. Clarified by the Three of Swords, somebody may not have been, somebody may have been in between you and someone else or undecided about you and someone else. You decide to pull your focus right back in. You say what you had to say, you leave. You found your balance <laughs> in turning your back on a possible connection here. No, it's a love reading, so yes, a connection. What is Astrid? It's, Astrid is an old Scandinavian name that means divinely beautiful. I'm glad I looked at that. Maybe that's what you realize about yourself. <laughs> I think if this person does try to come back and reconnect with you, you just know. It's like you give up, you walk away because it's too stressful. You stop and think about all the other possibilities that you have because Astrid, <laughs> I'm divinely beautiful. Or perhaps you took a pause from this person because they just were not the lonely type or the commitment type. And you're like, and as you took a step back to think about it, you're like, no, honey, this shit is toxic. I can't go back to that. This person's either in a relationship already or not ready to be in one. I'm breaking myself free from any more of your emotional manipulation. Cancer, what the hell? Why did I get Astrid as punctuation? Y'all tell me in the comments about that. I like the fact that it means divinely beautiful. And I like the fact that it's part of the Scandinavian language. Anyway, mature man is here as well with your love life. I feel like you you call judgment on one relationship and then boom, daddy's home. <laughs> He's home. So let's see. Why is mature man here? The Empress fell out sideways. 
Okay, so I feel like it was meant to fall out in reverse. I feel like there was something that didn't grow. You stop. You put a stop to it because there was deception around it. Either someone was lying, they were cheating, whatever the case is. It was like a big bang. This could be a decision that you came to suddenly to to let go of this person. Could be a Scorpio. It's like, I love you, but you're too stressful for me. Or somebody just pops up from your past out of the blue. Could be that. Or from your person's past. Possibly resentful and still wanting some leverage in the situation. Either way, I see you giving up on me. Let me try this again. I can't surface. Oh. Who is this mature man to cancer? Or perhaps this is you. <laughs> Wising up and you know, doing your process of elimination. Who is this mature man for cancer? Whoever it is, you're not. I don't know. I think this is you. It's like you've matured from the situation. You're not interested in whatever this is anymore. This is you turning something down that ain't going nowhere. You're putting distance between you and something that was either affecting you financially or that was causing a lot of insecurities for you. It's like a decision is revealed to you. There's love, but you have to abandon it. There's love, but you had to withdraw yours because your happiness is important. <laughs> Mm, did this person ghost you before but now they don't want things to be over there's waiting but there's repressed emotion somebody may be waiting with an offer to reconnect with you this person love you some of y'all got i don't know this could be an aries in this reading king of cups It's like, you want to reconnect with me, but I remember. Something like that. I found out about the deception surrounding somebody's private parts, honey, and it ended a relationship. That really could have been something, you know, or it felt like it was going to be. Does this make any sense? But it's like, I can't look back on this no more. Because every time I look back, I see clearly the, the, the ways in which I was manipulated. I feel like this is a situation that helps you to mature. Let me see something, Cancer. How do this person, how do you feel about them? How do they feel about you? What the hell? How do you feel about them? <laughs> how do they feel about you? They want to fight for this. There's something that they may be avoiding. Making a choice. They may decide to try not to worry about whoever the other person is. They may decide to end that in order to... Um, but it's in order to get back to you. But it's something about what you found out and the lack of um they were still holding on to something and the lack of accountability that was taken they want to heal things with you you are trying to let go of this and invest in things that make you happy i do see you walking away you think about going back because of a missed opportunity that feeling but you're blocking yourself off from it because you know it's disappointing something like that Answer. Did I give y'all advice on career? Let me do that. Give me advice card for cancer for career. And then we're gonna get advice for love. Advice for cancer and career for the month of December. 
Advice for Cancer for love in the month of December. So in the career, Cancer, there's somebody that you don't need to work with. There's somebody you need to cut ties with. Okay, because I really feel like same message from earlier. You're better off on your own with this one. I just don't think you got time for it. For whoever this is that wants to work with you, I see you cutting ties with them. And I see things opening up for you. Um, you don't... Yeah, I, I don't think you're interested in... Because it's almost like a restart with whoever this is that wants to work with you. Like, maybe you two have tried this before. But it's like something about you being left waiting and, and there not being a return on your investment. And something about this being a cycle that's happened before of like disappointment because this is something that's important to you like this is something that was a dream and you don't want to see that crash because you're dealing with the wrong person who's got you asking too many questions about them so I see you deciding not to do it or turning down an offer at work and that being the right thing for you because you're going to be fine on your own. It's like this is something you got to do by yourself. As far as your love life, um, I do see you letting go. Somebody may be trying to revisit a situation with you after doing some bullshit. And um, I don't see you opening yourself up to that anymore. But I do see you investing in things that feel right for you. This may also be somebody that you waited for some kind of communication from. Maybe you're still holding on to this person. <laughs> I heard, but I dare not go over there. Something like that. There's success in you avoiding this. Whatever this is. And there's something new here. This could be, okay. Some of you could be starting something new with the Leo or some, starting something new that really makes you happy. And you had to get rid of that other thing in order for this to come forward, right? Some of you may be dealing with the Taurus. Somebody felt like they wasn't done with you, Cancer. And they're sad about it. They're upset that they feel like you're not thinking about them anymore. But you're going back to a place that feels... It's like you're going back to something that you were already working on. Could be with a Virgo... Some of you may have, but then it's like, against my better judgment, I reconnected with this person, thing, and then I found out why I shouldn't have connected with him. Something like that. It's like you tried to work on it again with somebody. Let me see something, Cancer. I'm all over the place. Cancer and love. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with the cancer, and you're blocking yourself against somebody who's either greedy, already in a relationship, towards Virgo Capricorn, something about the it was like unstable. Whatever this was is like throwing you off. But maybe this emperor is you. Even in the face of disappointment, loss, you found freedom from something, Cancer. You're not taking it in 2022. <laughs> Whatever this is, and I feel like you're going to win because of it. 
We ended it with the reading with the with the Empress. The fool. The Emperor. This is this is a powerful ending, Cancer. You're gonna be fine. But don't take it, whatever this is, don't take it with you in the 2022, honey, because I think you have a lot of things to look forward to in that year. So I'm going to pull you one more message, Cancer. I'll pull you two, so let's read on. <laughs> what others think of you or your decisions is none of your business. And no matter how you feel... This is exactly what I'm saying. No matter how you feel, get up, get dressed, show up. Because 2022 is it, baby. 2022 is it for us, okay? No matter how you feel, even in the face of this disappointment, disconnecting from someone, feeling insecure about them, isolating yourself, you know, wasted time, money, energy, hurt. Even in the midst of it, no matter how you feel, show up. Get ready, get dressed. Sig up alante. We we keep in the cushion cancer. I'm gonna leave it there. Like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you. The song that's playing right now is called Take Care. Take care of you, Cancer. And you're gonna be fine no matter what this situation is. I love you and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.